Previously on Fire Emblem. After everything I've tried, in the end, it was no use. Whale cannot be beaten. But please, dear Fire Emblem comrades, join me on my long journey where I tried everything. And in case I didn't, let me know. You know, I have a tendency to overtrain my units. I just like to form until they are strong as they can be. That's why I wanted to try and beat Whale in this chapter. I was overjoyed to find so many people showing interest in my previous video and a lot of nice comments with good ideas what I could try. So this time I'm going all out. Not just with Fire Emblem but also with my production value. So sit back and enjoy the most comprehensive Whale Beat Town I can bring to you. In the first video we confirmed that she won't take any regular damage. I remembered Vaida from an old Fire Emblem and for her it was just a weapon that's overpowered. So I tried to unequip it by letting Louis smash her. But Whale got fed up and hit back. In the end Ahn stepped up and was finally able to break her. But it didn't help. In the next video I tried an extended test. I was able to use DLC characters to deal flame damage to her. But unfortunately she wouldn't go down either. So it was time for another training journey. With update 1.2 new DLC characters were released. So we're gonna visit Soren, Hector and big sister Camilla. You know with only the resources from chapter 10 the DLC maps are actually quite challenging. The first map I did was Soren's. This map is a real hard combination of tough units and annoying environment effects. Next stop was Hector's map. Much simpler than Soren's, although the poison effect is very hard to avoid and the enemies are rather strong. Just look at this guy. 58 physical attack? That's even dangerous for my tanks. And last but not least, Camilla. Oh big sister, save us all. Her ability to target my weakest units seems unsurpassed. I was especially looking forward to her because of her special ability that allows after a critical to deal extra damage. After that I formed skirmishes for a while until they were getting really hard. For example here we have a level 5 promoted class encounter while most of my units are still stuck being unpromoted. Anyway let's start chapter 10. But first Let's polish some ring. Or rather not, traitors all, I'll only polish the bracelets. <laughs> Just look at them frowning, maybe that's why they betray me. Since I can't change the lineup in the next chapter, I have to carefully consider what I'll bring here already. Anna can profit from Hector's heavy attack most, so I gave Hector to her. Luis has the highest strength, so I took him for maximum splash damage with Tiki. Diamond is our backup attacker for chain attacks. 
John is my strongest mage, so I give him Soren. Yunaka will hopefully crit Whale from the forest with her skill, so I gave her Camilla. I also gave Camilla's skill to Alfred, together with a killer lance. And lastly, Alchrist will apply all the gambits from a safe longbow distance. So with that I should have everything I need to show poison, fire and effective damage, chain attacks, splash damage, damage reflection and Camilla's after crit damage. The first battle is a breeze. It feels really empowering. Almost all enemy units die in one round without much of a chance to hit back. Really easy for once. The skirmishes were way harder. And right after I fought that, the game decided to serve some humble pie. I should remind myself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Anyway, we decide that that never happened. First, we face off against the Good King in a really dramatic scene. Next, we easily defeat the bad king and let him become a dragon snack. So, and now it's finally time. Chapter 11. The chapter we are supposed to run away from Whale. No, Alfred, shut up! I trained for this, I won't run away. I will beat her up. Damn spoilers. Just look at her. Just look at her. Standing there. Menacingly. Menacingly! So, easy part first. The two of the Dark Worms. They look really scary and really strong. First of all, you almost can't get past them, but with a little bit of training, we first start off by easily smashing them off. Damn, the enemies near rail move. I needed them for the splash attack. I guess I need to restart. This time I use warp to get close. Just look at that preview. I thought I had it. I cried out in anger when it stopped at 1 HP. Well, here we have it. Splash damage doesn't work. Okay, off to plan B and C and D and E and F and all the others. So first, Ann smashed her closer to the forest. So now I can attack her from there with Yunaka and her great crit boost. Just to show it here with Diamant, chain attacks don't work Another thing that was raised was having a Leer buff a unit by standing next, next to them. But as you can see here, that doesn't help either. I think that pretty much confirms that she cannot die by any attacks, even if the damage is increased or her defense is decreased. Which we see here by using the Dragon Wayne to reduce her defense. Our only hopes are a reflect or a critical hit by a unit that has Camilla's skill. Here with reflect she actually takes damage, nice! But just look at that hit that will never reflect. So I guess I'll attack from somewhere where she hits better. But now that I want my units to get hit, they start dodging. And what's happened here? Why does she not reflect? He doesn't either? Even you, Anna? I thought it was bugged, but then I realized, as soon as Vale would die from the Reflect, it just gets deactivated. It took me a lot longer than I like to admit to realize that. Good move, developers. What is furthermore, 
I just would like to poison or flame whale as well, just to show that it doesn't work, but Shield Gambit gets in the way and gets in the way. Finally the riot shows up. And here we see Poison Gambit. It actually works. Does it do anything? No. But she's poisoned. So at least we have that going for us. Oh, and in case you're not really sold on the point that she does not take damage in battle. Here, let's try effective damage and smashing one more time. There we have Amir. That should do the trick, it's effective. Sadly not, still zero damage, even though she's poisoned. And just as a little follow up, yes, even at 1 HP, broken and poisoned, she still blocks all damage. I have been attacking her for a lot of runs now, and I'm afraid she probably can't get crit. So let's do a little math. I went back and added my crit chances. I attacked her 43 times with Yunaka and 17 times with Alfred. Yunaka has a 15% chance for a crit and Alfred has a 41% chance. If we multiply all complementary elements, so 0.85 to the 34th power times 0.59 to the 17th power, which results in, if I move the decimal point right, 0.00005% So I guess it's mostly safe to say she's immune to crits and that means she's also immune to Camilla's follow-up damage There's just no way But at least we got a little something Look at Whale now Not so smug now, huh? Look at you Poisoned, shock frosted, singed and down to 1 HP Okay? If I can't beat you, then I'll just beat them up instead. And here they come, her four little friends. Wow, I didn't expect that. They are really tough. And on top of all that, they all use magical attacks. And my best units are mostly physical tanks. That won't be much of help here. Just look at her, high speed and high attack. But even she goes down, eventually. Now for you, Emo Mage. You're really annoying. You know when it's us, we can only use Ragnarok once. But he? He just repeats it. That damn cheater. But even with cheats, my guys are just too overtrained for you. The last two were not that bad. You see that? I beat up your four guys. What do you want to do now? Just stand there? That's all you can do, right? I guess before I leave, let's do Lucina's chain attack. Now, all together. They tried their hardest. I tried my hardest. But of course, all damage is zero. But at least the last hit really looks like she falls down, doesn't it? Especially if you compare it to Astra Storm. She doesn't even twitch. I had to retreat. I guess the only winning move is not to play. Sorry everyone, I couldn't beat her. After all the battles, after all the tries, I still failed you all. I really hoped to find a way to defeat her. I hope you still enjoyed my video though. If I missed anything or anything other comes up that might work, let me know. It was a lot of work I must say, not just to level all the units and to get all the footage, but to write a script and edit everything too. I must say, I have a whole new appreciation for all the YouTubers out there. I'm still quite new at this, and this is the first video I did all the editing and voiceover myself, so feedback or ideas are appreciated. So, if you're interested in any future projects or just want to support me, I'm sure you know what to do. Anyway, thanks for watching, RPG Hardman out.